I brought three and a half pair of shoes on a day hike. <laughs> What's up? I'm at the top of Bear Mountain. Uh, I've got something special today. I hiked up in my favorite shoe, Ultra Superior. I love this guy. It's got a lot of traction in uh, just about every kind of condition. It's good in loose terrain. It's good on wet rock. It's good on dry rock. Uh, only complaint is that it's got a very low cushion. And so a lot of rock, especially the kinds that point like this and jam into your feet, can be a problem. Plus, the sole is recessed in some key areas and you can really feel the rocks through that. So, um, in the past, I have hiked with the Brooks Cascadia 12. Hiked with this shoe on the PCT. It does really well in dry conditions but it sucks on wet rock. So, um, definitely like this one more. But as I said, it doesn't have a lot of cushion. So, that's where the Lone Peak 3.5 comes in. It's a very similar shoe, also by Ultra. Has the zero drop, foot-shaped toe box, nice beefy lugs. But this guy does not perform so great on wet rock. I've seen a lot of people with these shoes slip where I've been just fine with the Superior. Uh, still a good shoe, but not my favorite. Now, that's where the fun stuff comes in. And this is the new Lone Peak 4.0. I'm really excited to try that. That's why I'm out here today. Brand new, haven't walked in them at all. Let's go over the features of this guy. First off, the upper, much closer to what the Superior is. It's like this nylon ripstop mesh. Very, very thin, breathes really well, dries super fast. Uh, let's look at the, the stack height. I'm no expert, it looks fairly close, but maybe a little bit smaller. Still has that foot-shaped toe box, still has zero drop. They've added this goofy little feature, which also exists on the Superior. No clue what that does. To me, it looks like a little uh, spoiler that you see in a car that doesn't deserve a spoiler. But it looks cool. Still has the gator trap. All right, stick your gator right in there. This also has the four-point gator clips for Ultra's proprietary gators. And like all Ultra's, a little little metal ring up here. Here you go. So what we've got is a more aggressive looking tread pattern. Diamond shaped instead of hexagonal. A couple of the key features. This goofy foot shape thing that appears on all the ultras that they call their trail claw. Who knows if that does anything extra. They think that by placing those specific types of treads or lugs underneath the metatarsals that you get more traction. I guess that sounds plausible, but um, I don't know. Uh, what else is new with this shoe? They have drain holes on the toes and in the heel area. Yeah, this is this looks like almost an entirely new shoe. There's only a couple of details that make you realize it's still a lone peak. This triangular shape is still there. The mountain design is still there. Looks really subtle on the gray shoe. On all the other ones, it looks really goofy. Come on, Ultra. Like, cut it out with the mountain stuff. That looks so dorky. But I mean, it looks like a great shoe. I've heard reviews that this feels a lot more like the Superior. I'm really excited to try it out because I love the Superior, but there are times where my feet feel a little bit beat up and Frankly, I just want a little bit more um, cushion. So, I am going to go ahead and suit up. I haven't even made it to the trail yet. I've been wearing these for, I don't know, about maybe three minutes. And I have to tell you, they are incredible. I love them. I love them a lot. Hello. Yeah, 
So, I'm making my way to the Major Welch Trail. It'll be a great test of how grippy these are on fairly dry rock. Uh, I definitely will be dunking my feet into something that completely drenches these shoes because I want to know how those drain holes work. And uh, I'll tell you right now, this is feeling like the perfect shoe. Soaking wet ultra, followed by another. We're gonna see how fast that water drains out. And maybe clean our lens. Much better. Hey, what is the first rule of uh, videography? I don't really know, but I would imagine up there near the top is always bring enough battery power. My main phone is out of battery, so now we're on my iPod Touch that I bought for recording audio. This is almost out of batteries. I shot too much B-roll today. Normally I don't shoot enough. So let me catch you up. These guys are soaking wet. The water's slowly starting to squish out of them with every step. The medium weight darn tufts that I've got in there, they are uh, kind of spongy. There's a lot of water held up in them. I can just kind of feel it. I usually like using two thinner socks. I feel like that holds less moisture and uh, lets it evaporate out faster, but completely anecdotal. I'm pretty pleased with the traction once these things got super wet. My foot does slide a little bit in them because it is a uh, about a quarter size too big for me. So that's not great, but it's bearable. Already seeing some unfortunate signs. I've only been wearing those for about an hour and a half. They are a little bit long, which might accentuate the uh, clipping of the toe on rocks that I'm not stepping over enough, but still, I mean, it's a trail shoe, right? Hour and a half. Sun's going down, I got about two miles, give or take, give or take two miles to get to the car. I don't know. I'm probably gonna run out of daylight somewhere down in there, but I have a headlamp. That's good. You should never leave home without a headlamp if you're day hiking, because sometimes you let your phone die. If you don't have your headlamp, you'd be out of luck today if you did what I did. Don't do what I do. 
Oh, it is really beautiful. Okie dokie, so uh, feet have been wet for about, ooh, I don't know, hour and a half. They're starting to really kind of feel better and dry. Still damp, but uh, shoes feel great. Love them so far. Best shoe ever. Just wish it fit a little bit better in the length. All right, hike's over. I'm in the car. Okay, what happened? I was hiking along in the dark because I wanted to get extra miles. I probably should stop hiking, but I really want to keep going. So I think I might run up West Mountain to the shelter and back. My phone was dead, and I only had one headlamp, and the battery was not super fresh. And so I was thinking, let me conserve my single source of light. I was fine. I wasn't stumbling too much. I could still see the trail. Uh, there's still quite a bit of twilight. My eyes are starting to adjust. All of a sudden, something right by my right ankle hissed. Mother fucker. I jumped backward really fast, like really fast. Flicked on my headlamp, which was already in place for just such an occasion. And it was a rattlesnake. And I turned around. I don't need to be running out of headlamp light miles from the car with rattlesnakes hanging out on the trail. Not when I'm not in need of hitting a mileage goal or getting to a town. No, those are bonus miles. They are ultimately unimportant. It doesn't matter how intense your exercise was. If it ends up killing you, you can't benefit from it. He hissed at me. Wow, I have no idea how close I just came. This hike is over, I'm heading home. Yeah, I don't need to deal with that. But hey, the Ultra Lone Peak 4s are really awesome. job ultra now just make them more durable they're already falling apart one hike one hike how are you supposed to do a through hike with an ultra you need like 10 of them all right that's it <laughs> well that didn't work Try that again. <laughs>